Hey friends, Pastor Dave here for our Sunday night devotional. And today I just wanted to talk about and celebrate the fact that in Christ we have a new life. Isn't it wonderful when you can throw away the old and take on the new? We have that with our whole life in Jesus Christ. But one of the great things about being a believer is that when you surrender your life to Jesus and, and allow him to come into your life, one thing he does is he takes your old life and he kills it. And then he gives you a whole new life. And we need that. Uh, Jesus pointed that out when Nicodemus came to him and said, what did he have to do? And, and Jesus said, you need to be born again. It's not that you need to change one or two things in your life, Nicodemus. He said, you have to start all over again with a whole new life. And, and Nicodemus couldn't understand that because he didn't know that was possible. Paul talked about it when he said, I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. You know, when I gave my life to Jesus, he crucified me, but now his spirit lives inside of me, animating my body for a whole different life. And we need that because we're born into a sinful world. We're born with that taint of sin on us and it doesn't take long before it manifests in our life. As soon as we're old enough to make moral choices, we tend to make immoral ones more often than we like to admit. Romans 6, 5-7 through 7 talks about this. It says, For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. One of the most unpopular teachings of Christianity today is the idea that there is such a thing as sin, that there's something we can do that's going to uh, stand between us and God because God has forbidden it. And like I said, I think there's a fatalism that it seems that there's no solution to it, so we've just got to accept that we're sinners and just continue on with our sin. But there is a solution. When we give our life to Christ and he kills that old nature and he gives us a new nature, then we are set free from sin. Now, we still can sin, but for the first time, it's possible for us not to sin. To our shame, we still sin until, I think probably for all of us, it's going to be until we stand before Jesus and he finishes the work of sanctifying us. But isn't it wonderful to know that we can be set free from sin? People say, well, you know, I can't do anything different. I'm born this way. And the answer is, maybe you were. But in Christ, we can be born again. We can have a whole new life. And, and sin is never going to give us the abundant life that every one of us desires. Because sin is always corrupting, it always costs us, and it always cuts us off from the source of abundant life, God himself. But now through Jesus Christ, we can be crucified with him, and our sin can be nailed to that cross, and we can have a whole new life in him. We have been set free from sin. Why, when you've been set free from slavery, would you want to go back to it? Let's live the holy life that God calls us to. Thank you, Father, that you have given us a whole new life. Thank you that we have the truth in your word that tells us what kind of life you desire. And Father, thank you that you've also given us the power through your spirit to live that life. I pray, Father, for everyone who's listening, that whatever addictions or compulsions they're dealing with today, whatever sin has got a hold of them, that you will help them to be a conqueror, that you will help them to have the strength to live the life that will glorify you, the abundant life that will bless them as well. In Christ's name we pray this. Amen. Well, God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful week. And remember, this Wednesday we're going to have in-person Bible study at 7 o'clock in the cottage. We're also going to be online. And if you'd like to be a part of that, if you haven't told me already, 
let me know in the comments and I'll make sure that you get the link for that. God bless you. Good night.